Welcome back, guys. I'm Mark Wong, and today we are in the tech room, your trusty companion for all things tech. Whether you're a tech enthusiast looking for the latest innovations or a casual user seeking honest reviews, you've come to the right place. Join us as we dive deep into the realm of gadgets, gaming consoles, PCs, and more. In this video, we will be walking you through the best air coolers for the Ryzen 55700 X3D for all budgets. To help you further, there are timestamps and direct links to all the products in the description below. It's worth noting that the prices can change from time to time, so again, be sure to take a close look at the direct links for the updated price tags. On top of that, be sure to take a look at our landing page in the description for the complete list of all our products featured. So let's get started. The fit CPU cooler on our list is the Cooler Master Hyper 212 priced at $34.99, which we have awarded a four badge rating. If you're after a clean, minimalistic air cooler that also brings a splash of ARGB lighting to your build, the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Halo Black certainly catches the eye. That said, when it comes to sheer performance for your money, it is actually a pretty good choice at just $35. Where the Hyper 212 Halo Black earns points is in its solid build. Despite being just an air cooler, it has a nice clean finish with no noticeable blemishes or defects. The fan quality also impresses. Smooth acoustics, no strange rattles or tonal inconsistencies, and a generally pleasant noise profile under load. It also boasts four jet black heat pipes and large fan blades and a black aluminum top cover with a signature logo to keep both performance and aesthetics in check. Installation, however, is where things get tricky. It ditches standoffs entirely, which makes attaching it a bit of a juggling act. If you're upgrading a cooler on an existing setup, and don't want to remove your motherboard, prepare for a challenge, you'll need to hold the back plate, cooler, and screws all in place simultaneously. It's not impossible, but it's frustrating, so it's best to ask a friend for help, just in case. Thankfully, if you're building a new system and attach the cooler before dropping the board into the case, this won't be an issue at all. Our team recommends this for individuals looking for a good looking, decent performing cooler with ARGB lighting. The fourth CPU cooler on our list is the Be Quiet Dark Rock 5, priced at $74.90, which we have awarded a four badge rating. If you're after a sleek, no RGB air cooler with premium touches, the Be Quiet Dark Rock 5 is worth a look. Despite being a single fan heatsink, it brings some nice refinements to the table and might be the best looking cooler Be Quiet has released yet. It boasts a rotating magnetic top cap that hides the heat pipes and mounting hole. It adds a clean, polished look that sets it apart, especially welcome at its $75 price tag, which is definitely on the premium side for a single fan cooler. Thanks to its 161 millimeter height and slim profile, it clears all RAM slots, so there's no issue with tall memory. It's compact enough to fit in most ATX cases, though it is a bit deep. Six heat pipes would likely benefit from a second fan, and Be Quiet includes the clips if you want to add one later. Installing the included Silent Wings 4 fan is refreshingly easy. The clips slide right into place with no fuss. On AMD boards, you can skip the back plate entirely, making things even easier. That said, the mounting process has multiple parts, and doing it inside a cramped case could be tricky. Performance-wise, though, the Intel Core i7-14700K, the cooler struggled to keep up. Temp started fine but crept up quickly in stress tests like times 264 and Cinebench nearly hitting 100 degrees Celsius. It's not a deal breaker for most users, but it's worth noting if you plan to push a high-end CPU. Our team recommends this for individuals who value silence and style over raw thermal power, the Dark Rock 5 delivers. The third CPU cooler on our list is the MSI Mag Core Liquid 240R priced at $97.99, which we have awarded a four badge rating. The MSI Mag Core Liquid 240R is quiet and stylish while giving you great overall performance. The 240R boasts a radiator integrated pump. Instead of sitting on the CPU block like most AIOs, MSI moved the pump into the radiator. This helps reduce vibration, keeps noise levels down, and increases pump longevity by keeping it away from CPU heat. It's a smart design and you can barely tell it's running, even by touch. 
the CPU block features a rotatable head so you can mount the cold plate at any angle and still keep the logo upright. That flexibility is a nice touch, especially for clean cable management or tight case layouts. Tubing is triple layered and reinforced with mesh, so durability and evaporation resistance shouldn't be a problem. The included 120 millimeter ARGB PWM fans also operate quietly while being aesthetically pleasing. We can say that it does hold true to its claim, being 10% more silent than its competitors. Insulation is straightforward with support for a wide range of AMD and Intel sockets. Everything you need is in the box, including thermal paste, mounting hardware, and even a smart fan controller. One limitation we did notice was that the instructions weren't in English, but thanks to its ease of assembly, installation won't be a problem. Our team recommends this for individuals who want a low profile cooler with aesthetically pleasing ARB lighting. The second CPU cooler on our list is the Noctua NHU14S, priced at $79.95, which we have awarded a five badge rating PC enthusiasts all know about Noctua, and it's nothing new that it has built its name on performance, quality, and ultra-low noise. The NHU14S is no exception. While their signature beige and brown fans may not be the most aesthetically pleasing, the NHU14S still dominates performance-wise. This single-tower air cooler is the bigger sibling to the NHU14S, offering more surface area and room to mount a second fan. Straight out of the box, it comes with a premium 140mm fan that's near silent even under load. Like all Noctua fans, it delivers excellent airflow with barely a whisper. The NHU14S is a bit tall at 165mm, but thanks to its slim fin stack design, you get full RAM compatibility in most systems. Installation is also pretty easy, which isn't a surprise. It's Noctua after all. The Secufirm 2 mounting system is solid, simple, and backed by excellent long-term support. Now, one small limitation is that this model may not compete with the largest dual tower setups or high-end liquid coolers, but it hits a sweet spot of silence, quality, and compatibility. Our team recommends this for individuals who aren't into flashy RGB and just want a cooler that does its job exceptionally quietly. The best CPU cooler on our list is the Cooler Master Master Liquid 360L, priced at $98.99, which we have awarded a five badge rating. The Cooler Master Master Liquid is a 360 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler that brings solid performance and clean aesthetics. It works with the latest Intel and AMD sockets, including LGA1700 and AM5, so you're pretty much covered no matter your setup. Design-wise, it keeps things simple. The pump has a minimal look with subtle ARGB lighting on the Cooler Master logo. It's not flashy, but it fits into most builds without clashing. You also get three 120 millimeter ARGB fans that push decent airflow across the radiator. Installation is pretty straightforward. Cooler Master includes all the mounting hardware you'll need, plus fan and RGB splitters, and even a small tube of thermal paste to get you started. Inside, there's a redesigned dual chamber pump with better water flow and a copper base that targets heat more precisely. The radiator also has more surface area this time around, which helps with heat dissipation. In real world use, this cooler does a good job of keeping temps under control, even under heavy loads. The fans run between 650 and 1750 RPM, balancing airflow and noise fairly well. At $99, the 360 L-Core ARGB hits a pretty good value in terms of performance, looks, and price. It's not the flashiest AIO out there, but if you want reliable cooling with just enough RGB to flex a little, this cooler gets the job done. Now, we did notice a very small limitation, though. The static pressure isn't the highest, so if you're pushing your CPU to the limit, you might notice it, but this isn't anything to worry about. Our team recommends this for individuals who want an AIO cooler that focuses on performance more than anything else. And there you have it folks, the best air coolers for the Ryzen 5 5700X3D for all budgets. If you liked this video and it helped you in any way, please do give it a like and hit the subscribe button. If you have a question or a product you want us to review, be sure to drop your recommendations in the comments below. Until next time, this is Mark signing off, reminding you to stay connected and updated with all of our research into everything that makes our tech rooms great.